Okay, so this question comes from Abir M. How do I know that computer programming is for me? How do I know computer programming is the one for me? Uh, growing up, I would always hate dealing with computers. Hate dealing with computers and would observe my brother putting computers together. I know programming may not necessarily be, put, be putting computers together. No, it's not. But if I grew up hating computers, how would I determine if computer programming is for me? Are you punking me? It's like Ashton Kutcher gonna like come out behind a tree. <laughs> what you... Eli, I really hate computers. Um, I'm guessing. I'm guessing here. I'm going out on a limb. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go really far out on this limb and say computer programming probably isn't for you. Uh, if you hate computers, not sure why you think computer programming would be for you. Because again, computer programming um, is sitting at a computer like eight hours a day, right? Uh, it's one of the reasons that I say I'm good at IT uh, and not programming. Because I like computers and all. Computers are nice, you get to play with them. Uh, but in IT, realistically, only about 25% of your day is actually computer-based, right? So much more of your day is communication, it's talking with people, it's dealing with tickets, it's dealing with politics, it's dealing with a whole bunch of other stuff. In the IT world, generally, at most, 50% of your day will be technology. And that's like at most. Really, it's only about 25% of the day. But again, like I say, with programming, coding, I mean, this is, this is what you do all day. So if you hate computers, I'm not even sure why you think you would like programming. That just doesn't make a damn bit of sense to me. But, but, benefit of the doubt, what I would say is if you're interested in seeing if programming is for you, uh, go to codecademy.com. Uh, it is a free website, web app thingy, um, that basically has uh, classes in programming. So they've got PHP and CSS and Python and some other programming classes. It's all completely free. It's all completely interactive. So you sit down, they explain how to do it, and then you actually code in a window. So you don't have to set up your own servers or do with compilers or any of that crap. Um, so go to codeacademy.com and see if you like it. Um, I'm betting you won't being that you hate computers <laughs> but you know who knows maybe um so that would be my thing for you there go to codeacademy.com see if you can get through one of the classes multiple of the classes if you like it if you enjoy it keep doing it and if you hate it go do something else and again there's no shame in doing other things again like you know i talk about being a florist and I just say that because it's just, I don't know, a thing to say. But again, there's a lot of people that feel like they have to be in computers. You know, technology is where I have to be. If I'm not in technology, I suck. But again, there's a lot of other good professions out there. There's a lot of other good in-demand professions out there. Um, again, healthcare, medical, you know, being nurses, being physician's assistants, being paramedic, all that kind of stuff. That's very valuable. That uses skill sets that have nothing to do with computers and technology. Law is very valuable. You know, other engineering, not just computers, but other engineering and stuff is very valuable. So again, there's, in the modern world, I really dislike it, because again, the president that I voted for, uh, um, it's one of, you know, he came on and he said this whole crap that everybody should learn how to program. Like, there's this huge movement right now saying that like, everybody needs to know how to program. And it, it's just stupid. It is just, it's like, that was about when I, when I lost my last little inkling of support for him um, because it's like you know we live in a modern like here in the United States we live in a world where people don't even understand how their 401ks work like does somebody need to know how to program or do they need to know the financial systems on how their retirement money accrues value like your 401k is going to support you for 30 years and most Americans have literally no idea how our stocks and all that work they don't know what a stock is, they don't know what a short is, they don't know what a commodity is, they don't even really know what equity means. And yet, that isn't taught in high school, and yet programming is supposed to be taught in high school. Again, you know, healthcare and all that, um, I would argue everybody should be learning, we should be up to first responder level for healthcare. No, we don't get that in high school, but everybody's supposed to learn programming. What I want you to understand is it's like, you know, we don't understand our legal system. Like, we get some weird little civics class that doesn't really teach anything teaches you how a bill becomes a law, but it doesn't really, it, it doesn't tell you, you know, if a police officer stops you, what are your legal rights? That isn't taught in school, and yet everybody needs to know programming, right? So there's this overemphasis on technology education that is complete horse crap. When, 
every American knows what to, knows what their legal rights are when they are stopped by a police officer. When every American, if there is a car accident, knows how to, to provide emergency services. When every American understands how their 401k works, then we can start talking about whether or not everybody needs to know programming. Until that point, it's just another stupid soundbite by stupid ass politicians that are only saying it to make themselves look cool, and unfortunately, it screws off, it screws over the rest of the you know, population. <clears throat> but you know, <laughs> getting off my soapbox, I'm just saying. So what I would say is, if you really hate computers, I'm not really sure why you're bothering. Go to code cat, go to go to codeacademy.com, check it out. If you like it, you like it. If you don't. Again, don't worry about it, don't stress. There are a lot of other good professions out there. There are probably some better professions out there, to be frank with you. Um, you know, you're not a lost soul if you don't like computers.